Our disappointment or fear is almost irrelevant at this moment in time. The choice right now is Trump or Biden. And there's plenty of talk of replacing Biden with a newer, shinier model. And in a perfect world, maybe that's what we do. But our world is far from perfect. And there is no guarantee that another Democratic candidate could even get on the ballot at this point. Historically, we know that replacing a sitting president who has an incumbent advantage is a mistake that leads to the party in power losing re-election. And Republicans have already told us that any change in direction the Democrats attempt to make will result in a series of legal challenges that will ultimately end up at the Supreme Court. And if you trust this court with our elections, then you have not been paying attention. The cold hard truth is that those of us who believe in American democracy and human rights and the values of truth and justice need to be very practical and strategic right now. There is too much on the line to fester about a bad debate. Look at Biden's speech in North Carolina the very next day. Totally energized, night and day difference in performance. Yeah, it sucks that the debate went poorly. I just don't really think it matters. To paraphrase VP Harris, why should we waste our time talking about 90 minutes that didn't go well when we can talk about three and a half years that did?